So this is part two. And in part one, we had a multicast receiver attached to a switch and the multicast was sent through the switch to the receiver. Slightly different in this demonstration where we've introduced a router here and the multicast server will be serving a stream to the multicast receiver. Now in reality of course you would have multiple streams and uh, multiple switches and multiple routers but in this demonstration just to keep it simple and as an introduction into setting multicast up and getting something to work in the uh, GNS environment. So here on the um, Cisco router you, in the global config you're going to need these two commands so you need IP multicast routing and IP PIM RP address and this is the loopback address I've got configured as the RP so the RP stands for rendezvous point and it allows the multicast server and multicast receiver uh, to have a, a like a meeting point a rendezvous point so it has somewhere where the um, messages can uh, talk to each other so also on the interfaces on each interface that you need any multicast traffic to pass you're going to need the IP PIM sparse mode so in this configuration you're going to need that configured on the interface going nearest the multicast server and also going through to this interface and also you're going to need the uh, command on the loopback interface as well as that is the what's configured the RP I'm going to attach a capture to this wire and see if we can see any data passing through go to media and open a network stream and the address is over here I'll copy this over and I'm going to press play so over on the Wireshark Okay, the stream should be requesting to join. I'm getting uh, some PIM hellos. This is the membership query and the, the membership report. Not quite there yet to the one I'm looking for is this. This is the one I'm looking for, which is the membership report and the, uh, the group it wants to join is the 232.777. So over on the Wireshark capture here I want to just point this out to you as, as it's a uh, interesting piece of data is this is the membership report it's a, uh, a type 0x16 and it's requesting to join the multicast address of 232.777 move over to the server and put in the stream add a file open stream that file next and this is where you select the RTP MPEG transport stream display locally add and I want the IP address that I'm streaming to so we'll get that in there and the stream name I'm going to call my stream and straight after this uh, whatever you want to put in there you can do but straight after this uh, put a comma and put TTL time to live and then you want to equal sign now this is only one router so I'm going to put in that um, it's sort of like three hops and that will go through if you've got more routers you're going to need 
more TTLs and uh, that allows the stream to have three hops before it times out. So here I'm going to click next and deactivate the transcoding and click next. So this is the full path and if you notice the end part here I've got my stream TTL3. So the TTL gets inserted in the correct spot. So click stream. So this is now streaming through the router and if we go and have a look at the receiver we see the same stream coming through. While that's happening, I'm going to go back to the topology and I'm going to do another capture on this wire. So as the data is being pushed through, we should see the packets going through. So here are all the data and it's streaming through now. It's a UDP protocol packet. The destination port is 5004. And so that's now finished. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of the capture here and pull up the receiver and I'm going to do a close this application down. I'm going to pull back over the Wireshark here and I'm just going to stop it there. Because what I want to do is identify this packet here. This is a, uh, a request to leave the group. And I'm going to double click that, go into the details of it. So now it's not requesting to, to be, be part of that multicast stream. And one of the things that uh, I'll just show you is the uh, leave group here x zero uh, x seventeen and it wants to leave the multicast group of two three two seven 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 here it also we see the uh, the generic sort of mac address of multicast and uh, and the destination of two two four dot zero zero two so that sort of completes the demonstration here of how you can get multicast to go through a router. And I forgot to show you the um, configurations on the router. So I'll just go over to that uh, now and uh, show you those commands. So if I do a show run, Um, so IP multicast routing, these are the interfaces. So you've got the loopback, IP PIM sparse mode, um, the first interface, IP PIM sparse mode the second address which it goes through and out to the receiver so you just need that command on all your interfaces that the multicast goes through and right at the bottom here I've got the IP PIM RP address which you need so good looking configuring that should be pretty straightforward and uh, Leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.